Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I'm going to review another software for the company iMyPhone. This time I'm going to review FixPo. The company iMyPhone is sponsoring this video because they provide me with a copy of the software so I can do a review for you. All right, guys, so it says professional iOS system recovery tool. Recover 150 iOS system issues like a stock on Apple logo, boot loop, black screen, etc. Reset iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch without password. Repair 1000 plus iPhone iTunes error such as 4014, 3014, 4005 in few clicks. Fix your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch system without losing data. Exit or entering recovery mode in one click. This supports all iOS versions and devices. The latest iPhone 13 and iOS 15.4 included. Works well on Windows 11, 10, 8, and 7, Mac OS 12, and below. And here's the software interface, guys. You have standard mode, advanced mode, reset iDevices and enter exit recovery mode. On the standard mode, you can fix the following issues without data loss. White black screen, stuck on Apple logo, stuck on recovery mode, boot loops, iTunes errors, brick or frozen, won't turn on, and more. You choose advanced mode if you forget the password for a screen lock or you fail to fix your device with a standard mode. Reset iDevices, get your iPhone, iPad, iPod touch easily reset to different status as you want. And here you can enter or exit recovery mode. This is interesting, guys. So I'm going to connect my iPhone 7. They say trust this computer. I'm going to click trust. Let's see what I can do here. Standard mode. Let's click standard mode. Please connect your device to computer. Devices in normal mode need to be unlocked first. You need to download the firmware first. Choose the firmware version you like because there is more than one option. Okay, so I'm going to download the firmware. This might take a while because usually the firmwares are 4 to 5 gigs of data. Let's see how big is this firmware. All right, so it's 3%. It's going to take a while. 99. It says verifying firmware. Please wait. Extracting firmware. Please wait. And it says a start to fix device. Okay, and let me click start. Let's see what happened on the phone also, you know. That's my phone. Let's see what happened if I click start. To begin repairing your device, make sure it's connected to the computer and follow the steps below to put it in recovery DFU mode. Depending on your iPhone model, you're going to select 8 out about 7, 7 plus or order models, okay? And now I'm going to do the recovery DFU mode. Press and hold the size and volume down buttons at the same time. Don't release the buttons when you see the Apple logo. Keep holding both buttons until you see connect to iPhones on your device. Volume down and power. Let's do it. Keep holding. You see the Apple logo? Keep holding. There you go. So you want to see this, the iPhone restore. This is what you want to see. Please keep your device connected and don't use your device in order to avoid being break. Okay, so the iPhone is already doing something here. 99%. Still doing their thing. I, my phone, fix Po. Success, it says. The program has successfully fixed your device. Wait for a short time. Your device will start soon. So I'm going to click done. And we are back to the main screen. I think I'm going to turn it on myself. Hold on. Yeah, that's the Apple logo. Let's see what happened with the phone. And this phone is also locked by the carrier. And that's it. That's my device. I didn't lose anything. I still have my Apple ID and I'm still at 15.6. So if you have any problem with your iPhone, use this software to fix it. In standard mode, you can fix the following issues. White, black screen, stuck on Apple logo, stuck in recovery mode, boot loops, iTunes errors, brick or frozen, won't turn on. That's the standard mode. On the advanced modes, choose this mode if you forget the password for screen lock or you fail to fix your device with a standard mode. And reset devices, I just show you, you can do standard reset or hard reset and enter exit recovery mode. One click to enter or exit recovery mode without any operation on your device. Okay. And that's it, guys. I conclude my review of the iMyPhone fix pool. I'm going to put a link on the description if you want to buy this software. Let's see how much is this software. All right. So buy it now. Again, it's for Windows or a Mac. I'm using a Mac right now. And you have different plans. The one year bestseller is $49.99. I think for another $4, you can have the one year license. It's only one iOS device. So it's only one iPhone. If you want the perpetual plan for five iOS devices, you're going to have to pay $70. So check it out, guys. This is iMyPhone Fixpo for Mac. 
thank you so much for watching this video guys if you want to support my channel please don't forget to subscribe it's only gonna take you one second and it's 100 percent free in that way you will support my channel so i can continue doing videos for you i see you in my next video take care bye